Hello again and welcome back to Building Better with Building Point America West. Today we're going to be going over some tips and tricks for Trimble Field Points. This is assuming you do have AutoCAD or Revit and the Trimble Field Points add-in for AutoCAD or Revit. I'm going to be using AutoCAD 2022. Uh, assuming you do have a file, you can follow along with this. Uh, I'm going to create a few points and show how to export the files for use within Trimble Field Link and Trimble Data Collectors. All right. Uh, if you want to learn more, please contact your local building point, but without further ado, let's jump in and take a look. Here we are in AutoCAD. We're going to show a few little bit of files. This is probably pretty similar to what you've all received from surveyors. I do want to show you one thing. Uh, you can see that this is a, a file that's been given from a surveyor. It needs to be exploded. A simple X command when you select a control point will explode that file to let us uh, actually uh, select the center of that circle and snap our points to it. So uh, before we actually export this, I'm going to make a few points at the center. So now I've exploded that and you can see I can actually select the center of it. I'll do one at a time. I'll manual place these points. You can see here a few options I'll run through pretty quick here. You want to set the number of that point for sure of what the control point is out in the field so that you can see it on the tablet. I usually set the layer to the by layer option. That way it picks up from AutoCAD what I layered is and my automation automatic annotations. You can see it'll pop up there. Now I'll show you a way you can do that automatically. You just go to another point, select one of them, and it has an option to select similar. You can see all the points are then selected. So you can do this all at once. So I selected all of them. Now I type X, enter, and now they can all have a uh, snap to the center of my circles there. After I again I want to do this one at a time so I can get the points numbered correctly as they show out in the field. Uh, that's really useful again as you're operating the equipment to be able to know where you're at in the field that you're standing in. Okay, I'll run through that for each control point I have on this drawing. Uh, again, each one of them would need a, a unique point created, uh, but the primary reason we're in here is to show the point export process for getting this data out to the tablet. So I'll just uh, do one more here and then I'll jump forward to uh, having all of them created. So here we are, all the points created. Now the export on the right side, CSV is if you just want additional points, but triple field link option will do the TFL and the uh, DWG background file for you. So we did all these as manual points uh, that does have an include all checkpoints box at the top. Make sure you do that. And then the background entities there, make sure you do select uh, background entities as opposed to select entire drawing. Of course, you can name your file, put it where you want. Uh, I always do the select background entities just to make sure I don't get extra stuff in my file that I don't need. Uh, after I name it what I want, uh, I don't have to do a separate file for the background. It will copy that uh, background file into that location. I hit OK and it says export complete successfully. OK, that's a quick and simple run through of the export through Trimble Field Points AutoCAD. It's the exact same flow and function out of Revit. Either way, it will create a file of the points as well as a file for the background. You'll simply need to open the TFL file that's created in Trimble Field Link on the tablet and everything will come with it. Make sure you do send everything that is exported into that folder, uh, either in Trimble Connect or a USB drive. Again, my name is Alex Reitzma. This has uh, been another Building Better video with Building Point America West. Thanks and talk to you soon.